This is Artifacts of Mars, and this is a story from EAG News. They do school news, basically. Uh, it's from Fayetteville, Arkansas. A 13-year-old named Chloe Rubiano was saving herself for marriage. She wore a t-shirt called Virginity Rats on the front. That's what it says. They have a picture of it. And it got banned by the school district. The men are taken off and put on a shirt, a gym class t-shirt. And on the back it said, I'm loving my husband and haven't even met him. School officials banned the shirt and forced the t-shirt teen to wear a school-issued gym shirt instead because virginity rocks message should, could lead to uncomfortable conversations about sex. Five News reports. I haven't looked at the Five News site. Rubio says her vice principal told her that the school district that the shirt could distract the classroom environment with the possibility that it opens up too many doors for conversations. The girl's mother, Bambi Crozier, doesn't necessarily think that's a bad thing. This is part of sex education to me. Virginity is where you need to be. Crozier said it represents what she believes. I'm very thankful that Chloe has this belief. Now, she's quite a gal. Uh, here's what I'm wondering. The article goes on to mention uh, different places, different schools in the country where the Purrs have uh, basically taken over. In Hawaii, for example, a curriculum co-authored by Planned Parenthood, otherwise known as Planned Predators, raised concerns from middle school parents and lawmakers about its glorification of homosexuality and other deviant sexual behavior as well as medical accuracy of the material. In Near San Francisco, parents in the Fremont Unified School District circulated a petition to ban your health today because of pornographic material inappropriate for its intended middle school audience. It uh, mentions a bunch of uh, sex education stuff for that, and other topics include bondage and discipline. BDSM, alright? And apparently it says all of which of course makes the virginity rocks message seem not only appropriate but critically important to counter the sexist great message many students receive at school. So what's the lesson to be learned from this? Well, the purpose of taking over the schools. And that's what this amounts to, is that the purpose of taking over the schools. Obviously, I have to assume that the uh, school board is made up of a bunch of purrs. 1960s style purrs, they believe in free love and uh, fornicating everywhere. Uh, what else can I assume? So our t-shirt might uh, provoke a few conversations. Well, it should. But this is another classic example of the mental disorder of liberalism. These are a bunch of mentally disordered liberals they are purrs, 
in all likelihood. They don't know that for a fact, but more than likely they're pervs. I don't see why any decent moral people would object to this. They are infected with mental disorder of liberalism. This is just absurd. You know, I applaud, I applaud this girl in, you know, a world where it's, forgive the expression, but kids are just fucking like dogs out on the street, practically. I applaud this girl for uh, what she did. The school, I don't applaud them, I think they're disgusting. I might even give them a ring on the phone and let them know what I think. We'll see. If I have time. That's Ramay, R-A-M-A-Y, Junior High School. I'll tell you the part they really hate. It's not the virginity rocks. Part is, I love my husband and I haven't even met him. They really hate that. Because, uh, men are the most evil thing in the world, according to these mentally disabled liberals. Well, men uh, marrying women. These are frat job, nutcase, mentally disordered liberals. Oh, well, minor issue. Well, disgusting.